dinosaurs, the prehistoric creatures that dominated Earth for about 165 million years, we know a lot about them, or at least, so we thought. There were the gentle and peaceful plant-eating herbivores, and then there were the formidable flesh-eating carnivores. But what if things were just a bit more complicated than that? In this video, we will explore a controversial theory suggesting that ceratopsians like Triceratops, one of the most recognizable dinosaurs, might have been much more terrifying and mysterious than we initially believed. In the animal kingdom, creatures fall into two primary categories. First, we have herbivores, animals that are both anatomically and physiologically adapted to consume plant-based material. In the other category, we find carnivores, creatures relying on the consumption of other beings for sustenance. Additionally, there's a special group of omnivores with the ability to consume both plant and animal matter. Nevertheless, assigning any animal strictly to the 100% herbivore or carnivore category may not be as straightforward as nature likes to operate with no rigid rules. Instances have been observed where herbivores, such as deer, cattle, and notably hippos, displayed behavior outside their typical diet, such as consuming animal carcasses or chewing on bones. Remarkably, entire herds of hippos will feed on carcasses, indicating that it's not just individuals exhibiting abnormal behavior. This occasional shift serves to supplement their diet with essential minerals and nutrients. In a similar manner, Carnivores like big cats have been documented consuming grass or fruit every now and then to aid with digestion. Yet, it's important to note that there's a significant difference between merely consuming meat from time to time and being an active omnivore. Pigs, for example, actively feed on carrion or insects, making up to 25% of their diet. With this perspective in mind, there is no justification to assume that prehistoric animals could not have possibly engaged in similar behavior. Determining the diet of an extinct animal poses challenges due to the scarcity of direct fossil evidence, such as stomach contents or coprolites. Paleontologists typically rely on the examination of bones, teeth, or jaws, comparing them with the skeletal characteristics of modern animals. In some instances, it's evident that the animal was a carnivore based on a mouthful of knife-like teeth. In the same way, a herbivorous diet can be deduced when observing wide, flat teeth with ridges. However, in many cases, the jaws of dinosaurs lack such clear specialization, leaving us with little more than an educated guess. Alternatively, the dentition of certain dinosaur groups was adapted for consuming both plant and animal matter. Currently, we are familiar with a few families, such as Ornithomimosaurs, Oviraptorians, or Pachycephalosaurs, falling into this category. Moreover, other seemingly herbivorous dinosaurs may not have been as strict in their vegetarianism and may have exhibited greater flexibility than previously thought. However, some were more adapted to this lifestyle than others, particularly the Ceratopsians, a group of beaked dinosaurs easily recognizable by features of their skull. While beaked jaws are not uncommon in the dinosaur kingdom, the beaks of ceratopsians, unlike the shovel-shaped beaks of hadrosaurids, for example, were large, robust, deep, and recurved, resembling those found in parrots. For a long time, it was believed that this feature allowed them to slice through tough vegetation, feeding on fibrous materials like the leaves of cycads or palm plants, branches, and even tree bark. Their beaks, however, weren't the only distinctive feature setting them apart from other herbivorous dinosaurs. By examining the wear patterns on fossilized teeth, we can gain insights into how these creatures moved their jaws while feeding. This examination revealed that the horned dinosaurs had also developed the ability to chew their food, a trait found exclusively in ceratopsians and ornithopods. However, each group had evolved its own unique mechanism. When chewing, the jaws of hadrosaurids, for instance, moved in several directions, including up and down, front to back and sideways, crushing plants into paste 
as the lower teeth slid against the upper teeth. In contrast, ceratopsians employed a completely different, less complex mechanism. Instead of crushing their food into paste, they sliced it into pieces, with their teeth sliding vertically past one another like scissor blades without any apparent crushing ability, a technique usually attributed to carnivores. Additionally, the anatomy of their jaws allowed room for large jaw muscles, capable of producing a significant bite force. Combine the formidable beaks, incredible bite force, and unique chewing mechanism of ceratopsians, and it becomes clear that they were equally capable of processing meat as they were at processing plants. Suddenly, the idea of these creatures being gentle herbivores takes a much darker turn. Perhaps it's time to reimagine our beloved Triceratops as a Mesozoic version of a bad-tempered pig-like animal, using its massive beak to slice through hard plant material as well as to tear apart small defenseless vertebrates or invertebrates, prey on wounded animals, or scavenge on carcasses. Interestingly, back in 2007, there were reports of an unearthed, fossilized Psittacosaurus specimen, a smaller member of this dinosaur family containing bones in its stomach, an ideal piece of evidence to support this theory. Unfortunately, this specimen has never been formally described. It might have been lost or simply forgotten. Furthermore, this theory gains additional support from the presence of horns and crests. In certain species, these adornments reached significant sizes, requiring an increased intake of calcium and protein, similar to the way male deer consume bird eggs or small vertebrates during antler growth. However, this idea would be relevant to all other dinosaurs with similar body structures, such as ankylosaurs, stegosaurs, or even hadrosaurs, as indicated by the discovery of coprolites containing crustacean remains, belonging to one of this duck-billed dinosaurs. An animal's success is often tied to its dietary habits, the ability to consume a broader variety of food enhances the animal's chances of survival, and considering the extensive 80 million year history of ceratopsians, it suggests that they were highly successful. Unfortunately, as of now, there is no direct evidence supporting this behavior. Only time will tell if this idea becomes relevant or not. Meanwhile, take a moment to explore this other highly controversial debate.